The Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger went on television. He didn't want to be as harsh as some of his colleagues, like Senator Bob Corker and Jeff Flake, who came out guns blazing against Donald Trump today. But you could tell in his comments that he is both concerned and why other Republicans are not speaking out as forcefully as those now retiring senators. And which, by the way, the third one there is John McCain, who's also been very forceful, also retiring. Kissinger is not, but this is what he says on television. You know, look, I wish both sides. I have a lot of respect for Bob Corker. He's now outspoken, though, that he's not running for reelection. You know, there's not not many in the republic of my Republican base and my supporters say that the president should keep tweeting. A lot of them say, I wish he'd tone down some of the personal stuff. I'm in the same boat. I wish he would tone down some of the personal stuff. Is he right? Do you agree he has great difficulty with the truth? Well, I think. There's obviously some times when he says things that are untruthful, but you know, look again, Corker is uh, Senator Corker is being very outspoken now that he's not running for re-election, and uh, I think both right. sides should just kind of take a big chill pill. Where we do, though, agree, and I think we need to be more outspoken about it, is the president needs to lay off some of the emotion on, on Twitter. I'd love to see the president tone down the Twitter, but you know, Bob Corker, I think, is going a little too far out there, talking about World War III, failed presidency, etc. I, I don't quite understand where he's coming from. With that. Hmm. I like that World War III from the president in your own party is just a little too far out there. Not too far, a little too far out there. Uh, both sides take a chill pill, but uh, the, it's obvious that the president is not truthful often. Obvious. <laughs> a Republican congressman trying to support him on TV is like, well, I mean, obviously he's a total liar. But I mean, besides that, the other side also says mean things about him. Yeah, but he's the president of the United States. He's the commander in chief. That's the relevant part here. So, Kinzinger obviously saying, man, I'm not saying he's telling you the truth because he ain't, right? And I'm not saying he's stable because he ain't. He's got to lay off the emotion on Twitter. But the second thing that he said is also relevant, which is, oh, yeah, Bob Corker is not running for re election, so he can say this. In other words, Bob Corker is not running for re election, so he can be honest. Same thing with Jeff Flake, same thing with John McCain. Kissinger is running for re-election, so he's like, oh, I gotta tell you a half truth, not the whole truth. If I was also free, uh, well, then I could tell you, of course he's crazy, somebody get a hold of him, right? Now, the reason I'm calling this Trumpenstein is because, but your base, the one you're afraid of, Congressman, the one that you know would vote you out of office if you oppose Trump, is of your own making. The Republicans fed that base, watch out for the gays, the immigrants, the Muslims, the Mexicans, the blacks, and even women. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out, and the fear and the loathing and the hatred. And then now they're surprised to see it that it comes back on them. They're like, what do you mean? Oh, Wow, this guy who took that loathing and, and, and fear that we were dog whistling and just actually started saying it out loud, and he appeals to them more directly. Well, color me surprised. Well, you shouldn't be surprised. You made him, you created him, and now he's turned on you. And boy, you had it coming. The only problem is all of the rest of us and perhaps the entire world is collateral damage. So it's about time that people who are running for reelection actually speak the whole truth instead of half truths. And you can tell even in that interview, he's basically saying, since I'm still a politician, I'm pretty much gonna lie to you. And the guys who are not running for reelection can tell the whole truth. Now you know what the reality is and what Republicans are actually thinking in Congress. Because they know better than we do how incompetent and monstrous Donald Trump is. Help us build independent media together. Come join us, tytnetwork.com slash join.